Hey, phone size users. So occasionally we get a request of how to add in social media icons to your phone sites funnel. And I'm going to walk you through that process. There's a, a number of ways you can go about doing this. I'm going to show you two different ways you can do this. Um, but I definitely suggest that if you're going to add in links to your social media properties, you'll want to add that onto a thank you page and not the, the opt-in page, not the landing page where someone is supposed to be putting in their contact information for you to follow up on, right? Uh, the more links that you have on that page, the more likely someone's going to bounce and not come back and fill out your form. So definitely try to add that that type of stuff, whether it's a, a mini chat bot or uh, your social media links or your link to your website or even your contact information to, to give you a call or something like that. You, you'll probably want to put all that onto a thank you page. Okay, so let's walk through this process here, right? I need to add this on to this very basic thank you page that I have here. And no, this is not me. This is a demo video from uh, Wistia's website, I believe. Um, okay, so let's go to, I'm going to use a really awesome resource. It's called w3schools.com. And as you can see in the browser address bar up here, it's exactly it. It's w3schools.com. It's a great resource for you guys. Uh, to check out how you can um, maybe add a little bit of spice, a little code to your landing page if you really want to. Um, I advise that you probably want to try to keep it more simple, though, and maybe try to stick with just the functionality that's already built in phone sites and not really dive too deep into coding. But if you really need to, you can come out here and you can locate uh, you know, how to change you know, like you, your icons or all that kind of stuff, right? So I'm going to go to... Uh, learn how to, and then I'm going to navigate over here on the uh, on the left. I could search for buttons over here or social media, but uh, there's a section down here called buttons. You can see it's pretty extensive. They've got a lot of stuff going on here. So let's find the, the button section. Uh, let's see. Here we go. So I'm in the button section right here just to show you. Oh, it's actually images, isn't it? There's buttons. Um, and then right social media buttons. So we're going to go into social media buttons and you can see you have all these different options. You've got uh, round social media options and then the, the square options, right? Okay. So it's going to give you some example. It's going to give you the steps of how you're going to set up the code and it's going to give you an example. It's not going to give you all of the code for all these social media options. You can see it's just showing you Facebook, Twitter, and then it kind of like truncates right here, right? Um, when we click into the try it yourself, it's actually going to give you all the code for all of these buttons. And then you can go in and um, remove whatever you, you don't need because you obviously don't need all these. And I, I think some of these aren't even valid properties anymore. Like for example, uh, like if this is Google Plus, then Google Plus isn't even in, technically in existence anymore. Um, and then here's the CSS code that you'll add in there as well. So there's two snippets of code you're gonna be adding in. It's gonna be HTML that you add into the design tab and then CSS that you add into the settings tab. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Um, I'm going to ignore the little snippet of code that they have here and I'm gonna go into the try it yourself. Now this section down here, this is for the round buttons, which I kind of prefer, I guess, um, over the code that's up here for the, the, the square buttons. Um, Let's try the, the round buttons. I think with the square buttons, you'll probably need to adjust the width in the CSS uh, that's listed in here. So for example, right here where it says width 50 pixels, you'll probably need to change that to maybe, I'm just kind of guessing here, maybe like 80 pixels. You could simply just type in, you, you can't do right here, but you, you would type in 80 in your CSS editor. Let, let's actually, let's take a look at how that works work. So if you click on try it yourself, you can you can play around with the code over here and see how this is going to look. So you can see the current width at 50 pixels. If I change this to like, let's make this really wide, let's change that to 150 pixels, and then select run, you can see how wide these get, right? And let's change that down to like, I don't know, this is going to be ridiculous, but like 30 pixels. Then select run. And it's actually not too bad for 30 pixels, right? Okay, so you'll need to do that in phone sites for um, the CS the CSS code that you're going to be adding in there to make it look just the way you want. So I'm going to go ahead and close that out. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to add in the code for the round buttons because I, I kind of like those a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and click into try it yourself. And what I need to do is you see this section right here where it says link this into or the uh, the, the opening tag here, 
we need to add that in. Um, this is important to, in, to include. We don't actually need the HTML head or meta tags. We don't need those. We need to include this in because this is going to tell our phone sites page and actually the browser that we need to pull in these icons um, back from the, the library that's out in Cloudflare, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and select everything from link all the way down to, and it's pretty lengthy because there's a lot of icons, all the way down here to style. So copy that. And then I'm gonna hop on over to phone sites and I'm gonna go into my settings tab and I'm gonna scroll down to uh, the advanced section to custom code. And I'm gonna put all of that into custom code section. Okay. And we may need to adjust this in a second. We may need to adjust like the, the width of the circles, but for now, let's go back to the design tab. And then let's go to uh, the try editor for W3 schools. And then now I need to select everything that's listed under style social media button. So that's the, the headline that we see over here, right? We need to add in all these. Now, again, you're, you're probably not gonna want all these, so you can remove whichever ones you don't want. So I don't need, I don't need to add in this. I don't need to add in the body or the HTML. I just need to add in, I, I technically don't need to add this in. This is just like a comment. Um, it doesn't actually uh, create any sort of action on your page. It doesn't like format the page or anything like that. It just, it's, an, it's, a, it's a comment for the developer to, to know like what's going on there. Okay, so let's copy that. And let's go back over to phone sites and add this into the text block. Okay, now there's a couple of things that we're gonna to need to do. I'm just gonna go ahead and save this and show you how this looks right now. And I'm gonna go back over here to my page and refresh this. And so we're gonna see a bunch of buttons, right? So we need to change the width of these. So let's change those to, let's go back to settings. And I don't know, let's change it to like 60 pixels. And let's refresh. So that looks a little bit better. I might actually change that over to, let's try 80. 80 might be just a smidge too much. Save. Yeah, that's too, that's too wide. Let's try 70 now. Okay, so 70 looks perfect to me. Now, you're probably thinking, all right, Chris, I don't want a whole line of, a vertical line of all these icons, right? Like I only want three or four and I want them to go across. So we can change that, certainly. Let's go back to settings in, um, actually, we don't need to go to settings. We need to go to the design tab in phone sites. And let's say that we only want Facebook, Twitter. Uh, we'll get rid of Google, so you can delete that. And LinkedIn and YouTube, right? And I'm gonna, actually, let's just go ahead and keep Instagram in there too. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the rest of these. Okay, so we only want like the top five here. And then the next thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that they're all on the same line across. So let's go ahead and do that. So all you have to do is you can um, remove the, the, so there's like a, a line break between these. You can remove the line break. So you just place your cursor right in front of that next line and then hit delete. And it'll take it back to this line here. Uh, before I do that though, it might be easier for you to add in your URL to kind of visualize all this before you start deleting. Um, so what you're going to need to do is if, if we, let me go ahead and save this. The reason why you need to add in the URL in here is because right now there's just a pound sign added in there because when W3 schools gives you this code, they have no idea where your Facebook page is or your Twitter page or your LinkedIn and so forth. So you're the one that has to add in that URL. And so this is just a placeholder. So if I try to click on any one of these uh, icons, it's just going to refresh the page. See, it just refreshes the page and then it adds in a pound sign there at the end. So that's not what I want, right? I want someone to actually go to one of these properties. So what I'm gonna do is I need to put in my URL for my Facebook page. So let's go um, back to Facebook and you're gonna go get your URL for your business page or maybe it's your personal page, however you want someone to connect with you. Go grab that URL, copy it, go back to phone sites, replace this little pound sign Keep in the double quotes, that's important. And then just paste in your URL. So then I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And just to show you how this works, let's go back to our site, refresh this. And so now if I click through that button, it's gonna take me to Facebook, to that phone size page, right? 
So that is, you can see right there how that happened. That that did not open it up in a new tab or anything. That opened it up in the same tab that I had from my funnel. So that's why it's important to add all this uh, onto a thank you page so that way someone doesn't bounce from your page and never comes back to fill out your lead form, right? Okay, so I've added in my URL for Facebook, but I still want to make all these on the same line, right? So let's go ahead and fix that. I'm not going to add in the URLs for the rest of these. You get the point, I think, for you'll need to add in the URL where the pound sign is here. But I need to, again, put my cursor in front of that that, that Twitter line there, the H, the Ahref uh, tag there, and hit delete to put all of this on one line. Just removing the line breaks. So then if I hit save here and I go back to my phone size page, refresh, then we see we've got all these properties down here, right? And I actually, I want this line here to be placed down there. That way it makes more sense, right? Because I've got this dude here kind of saying like, you know, thank you or something like that. And then I want this line to be congruent with the action that I want them to take, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just, let's bounce that up real quick. Select save. And what did I do? What did I do wrong? Oh, that's a Vimeo video. Delete, which I wasn't even finished setting up the code for. I want to bounce the subheadline up there. Actually, I have both of those in the headline field there. There we go. Now we can move our uh, sub headline right there with our icons. And I could make this a little bit bigger, right? So I'm going to change that to like size four. Select save, back over here and refresh this. Cool. So that looks good. All right. So I mentioned that there's a whole bunch of different ways you can go about setting this up, right? So we can certainly do that. Now, what I'm going to show you next is uh, if you don't want to use this W3 schools method, you could go out to Google and just search for social media icons for a website, right? And go find uh, a ton of different results. Um, you could use flat icons, a good resource, but for them, you either have to pay like eight bucks a month or you have to um, give credit to the, the author, right? So another option you can go about doing is you can go to icon finder and actually i went through buffer before and icon finder was one of the first options that they mentioned so let's just go directly to icon finder so let's go here and so you can see here you've got a ton of different resources here i can go into if i wanted like the the rounded square i could go in here and then download these i could get my uh, circle uh social circles again but i'm gonna go ahead and um these look kind of cool let's go ahead and grab these here And uh, let's see, I'm just going to go ahead and download like this, this PayPal icon, I guess. So you click into each one individually. Is there an option to download all of these? That would be pretty cool if you could. There probably is. I don't see it, but I'm just going to go ahead and download um, PayPal. So let's go ahead and download that. So I'm going to download the, the PNG version. Okay, so that's saved on my computer now. So let's go back over here. And um, let's see, let's go back to phone sites real quick. So th now the next step that I, I want to do is we've got our icons down here, and now I want someone to pay me via PayPal. So I'm going to go, and again, this doesn't have to be for PayPal. This could be for the actual uh, icons for social media properties, right? Like I could be putting in here for Tumblr and LinkedIn and um, Snapchat and so forth to have someone connect with me via via those icons versus these, right? But let's go and let's edit our phone sites funnel to add in uh, for PayPal, right? So I'm going to go ahead and select ad block. And I'm going to say subheadline, pay me. All right, so I'm just going to say, you know, connect with me on social media or, or just pay me. Okay, so let's select ad block here. And then I'm going to put in uh, image. So let's select image here. And 
I need to upload this image. So let's go to our gallery here, upload image. I'm going to add in that new item that I just downloaded, PayPal. So I'm just navigating here in my computer here to find that icon. So there's the PayPal icon and it's uploading. And then I'm going to scroll down and find that icon so I can use it. Insert. Okay. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and copy this URL here. So I've got that copied. Um, I actually, I don't need this image now. Or actually, yeah, no, that's fine. I'll, I'll leave that. Um, and then I'm going to put in my link to PayPal, right? So let's see here. PayPal. I hope that's right. There we go. All right. So I have PayPal me set up. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that URL there and then have someone pay me a thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, let's go back to phone sites. Now I'm going to put in my link. So that way, if someone clicks through this PayPal button, they are directed to pay, pay me a thousand bucks. Okay. Select save. And let's test this out. I need, I could make this a little bit smaller, but I want someone to pay me a thousand bucks. I'm just going to keep it at that same size there. So let's go ahead and test this out. Click through that and voila. Okay. So yeah, I, I just showed you how you could set that up for PayPal, but it doesn't have to be PayPal. Again, it could be, it could be one of these other icons. Like I could have someone, uh, let's see here. I could have someone go to Twitter, I guess, and then put in the, the, the Twitter icon or the, the, the Twitter link. So let's, actually, let's just go ahead and do that real quick. Download PNG. And let's go back over here to phone sites. Let's add in our image, upload image. Go to the little Twitter icon that I just downloaded. And then let's select that. Insert. And then now I need a Twitter account, right? Okay. Grab the URL there for Twitter. And then let's go back to phone sites and then update our URL here in the, the link field, select save, go back to our funnel. And I guess it doesn't make any sense for someone to, to pay me any anymore, right? Like, or just tweet me, tweet at me. Refresh the page. And there we go. So now we can have someone go over here to Twitter. All right. Hopefully that helps. Let us know if you have any questions.